In the name of God, the presentation topic is AA Chatbot Extension for LibreOffice. In this presentation, at first I provide an overview, after that I discuss about LLMs, advantages and disadvantages of using them, capabilities and non-examples. Then I speak about capabilities of AA extension that is the result of my efforts. After that, I discuss why I use ChatGPT API and then I speak about the choice of programming language that used for creating extension. I introduce graphical user interface and after that I discuss about implementation and execution in LibreOffice environment. And in the end, I present future works. Hello, I am Sarah Hatami. I am a computer software engineer. I am interested in open source software with the passion for LibreOffice. In this presentation, I discuss using ChatGPT chatbot in LibreOffice environment. In general, chatbots are created based on large language models or LLMs. Today, we use computers much more and they are employed in every aspect of our life. Chatbots make interaction with the computers easier. I have created an extension in LibreOffice Writer, then I connected that to ChatGPT. The result provides some of the functionalities of an AI, of an AI chatbot inside LibreOffice. Large language model. These days we hear a lot about LLMs. I want to discuss a little about what LLM is and what it does. Talking with the machines was always desire of human, and creating programming languages was a method to communicate with the machines. The result of many attempts is creating LLMs. LLMs are created with neural networks and deep learning. They have very big information sets. They learn from different sources like books, texts, papers, social media networks, and even user feedback. Advantages and disadvantages. Among the advantages, I can say, they have capability of using human language. In other words, they can answer questions with human language. They can interact with the users. They have higher speed. Using them doesn't need a special expertise and ordinary people can use them. Among the disadvantages, I can say when LLMs have weaknesses, LLMs may provide incorrect or misleading answers because understanding text is not easy. In other words, wrong interpretation of textual data can lead to generating wrong answers. Their accuracy depends on learning data. They may have mistakes because they learn from user feedback and user's information may have mistakes. LLMs may have special bias for nationality, ethnicity, and gender. They may have illusion and give irrelevant answers. But despite these weaknesses, I can say a lot of these problems will be solved even with user feedback. Capabilities LLMs have many capabilities. I introduce some of the most important capabilities. LLMs can chat with users complete unfinished text, summarize the text. They can write poems or correct our text. Brainstorming is possible with LLMs. They can translate the text and they can edit and organize contents. Examples. Chatbots are examples of LLMs. They have open source and proprietary samples. Currently, maybe the most known of them is the product of OpenAI company that called ChatGPT. But there are other samples like Bing Chat, Google Bart, Falcon, LLIM, and Palm that created by other companies. AI extension. As 
as I said, A extension is the result of my efforts. This extension provides some of capabilities of LLMs in LibreOffice Writer. These capabilities are chatting with users, text summarization, text editing, extracting keywords, translation to different languages, and creating an image from a text description. As I said, creating these capabilities were not possible without LLMs. Why ChatGPT? There are many open source and proprietary software that are based on LLMs. My choice for creating a extension is using OpenAI company software that called ChatGPT. Using ChatGPT like other software has advantages and disadvantages. Among the advantages, the software has a culinary API, ChatGPT is more commonly used, and many users in Persian-speaking society requested using ChatGPT in LibreOffice. Among the disadvantages, I can say it is not open source, and for using, you should pay subscription fee for it. I used the trial version of ChatGPT API. Connecting a extension to ChatGPT needs setting API key and API key sets with an environment variable. I should say the first time you can use the trial version of API about one or two months for free and after this time you should pay fee. Programming language. I started based on a getting a started guide in TDF wiki and then I created a simple extension with basic programming language. After that, I made my first extension with Python programming language. I connected that to ChatGPT API and then output could be used in LibreOffice Writer. Also, I'm fluent in Java language and Java is usable in LibreOffice, my choice for creating a extension was Python programming language because Python doesn't need to be compiled that is easily usable, changeable, and correctable. Using Python has expanded and this programming language is usable in LibreOffice. To create this extension, I needed some Python libraries for Installing those libraries, I tested different ways. The best way was using Python PIP embedded in LibreOffice. I used PIP Bootstrap. By downloading and executing a Python file, PIP module was installed and paved the way for installing other packages. Graphical user interface. GUI of my extension could be based on complex interfaces, but I prefer to use a simple interaction style that is based on menus. After installing a extension, it adds a menu item to LibreOffice Writer. Capabilities that I have discussed about are usable within this menu. Implementation and execution. Implementation of this extension is based on LibreOffice API. LibreOffice API or UNO is used for reading selected text and writing text and comments. To simplify testing and debugging, at first I implemented it with Python and ran it as an external process. After I made sure that works, I converted that to an extension. I have installed a extension in LibreOffice and then I could see the menus in LibreOffice Writer. Unfortunately, for using, you should prepare ChatGPT API key yourself. As I said, first time you can use trial version for about one or two months for free and after this time you should pay subscription fee. Future words. I want to expand GUI for new capabilities. It lets users request calculation formula based on a description and using this extension in other LibreOffice application, using, including 
calque. Thank you for your attention. I want to show my extension. I have already installed this extension. This is the menu and these are capabilities. To use this extension, you should type a sentence and select it. For example, the flowers are beautiful. I selected it and I want to send it as a chat message. Okay, this is the answer. Now I want to summarize this text. Okay, I selected it and summarize. As you see, this is the summary of text with less than 30 words. Okay. I want to translate this sentence. Different hours are beautiful. I selected it and I want to translate to German language. Okay. I selected it and I want to translate to Spanish. This is the result. And I selected it and I want to translate to French. Okay, this is the answer. And I want to extract keywords of this sentence. The flowers are beautiful and they are good gifts. I selected it and extract keywords. Okay, these are keyboards, flowers, beautiful, and gifts. I want to edit this text. I selected it and edit the text. Okay, this is the result. Now I want to generate an image with a text description. Let me show the beautiful flowers in a garden. I selected it and generate image for this capability i can say this link is from microsoft servers which requires extra authentication this happens on windows and unfortunately not on linux but i can take the link of picture from terminal and open it with browser let me show okay This is the result. Thank you for your attention.